Good afternoon, gentlemen. So today, uh, we're going to start out with a hot sauce that I actually just found, and I've had it uh, a couple weeks now and loved it. I found this, and maybe you've seen it too. Um, I actually, it, it came up as an advertisement on Facebook as a promoted post. Uh, having, uh, it, it was a hot sauce, and uh, I love hot sauce, so I'm going to, uh, so, I, so I have to click on it, and uh, the list of ingredients were just so interesting that I needed to buy a bottle, and that bottle is this. This is the Tabanero hot sauce, extra hot, and um, I've been very happy with this. Now, let me tell you the list of ingredients that's on their website so that you can get an idea of what I'm tasting. So, um, their base, their top ingredient is carrots. Now, I, that's not the first thing that I always think of when I go into a hot sauce or even a salsa, but it has carrots, onions, key lime juice, we're getting a lot better here, and then agave nectar, which I was trying to figure out, well, is this gonna be a sweet hot sauce? And I think you'll be surprised than garlic and salt. So the agave was obviously there to cut the bitterness of um, the, the, the roasted garlic in this, and so it actually balances out really well. So there's a few things that I always test when I take my first bit of hot sauce. First of all, I like to eat hot sauce right on a chip. So if it is very, um, watery, if it has a lot of vinegar or anything like that, it doesn't do me well when I get it right on a chip. But as you can see here, it has a good, it, it, they've made the opening a little bit bigger than some, and it goops out, but look at that. It doesn't actually roll anywhere, which I like. Now the second thing is, what is the first thing that I experience when I taste it. So the first thing that I'm experiencing is the flavor. So that you have that great acid in there, but you can taste that key lime, which is, I think um, the lime is very good in there. The, uh, the onion is not over overly strong. I think onions can, can play too big of a role at times and things like this. That garlic, that salt just elevates all the flavors. And then that agave I was telling you about, it's not sweet. Yes, you can, you can feel a hint of it, but it isn't sweet. So I, I was very happy with that because I've had too many sweet ones and just way too much um, on the sweet scale. All right, so the second thing that I do when I try a hot sauce is what kind of a um, heat are we dealing with? So there's the kind of heat, there's an extreme heat that I call a slap your tongue heat. It's the kind of heat that just immediately you get those chills. Um, you might start sweating and it just is, it's, it's hot. And I was uh, expecting extra hot to be extra hot. And that's the one criticism I have on this is that it's warm, don't get me wrong, but it's not extra hot. This should be where they're around where their original flavor is. But what kind of a heat is it? It is not a slap your tongue heat. Like I said, the first thing that you feel is, or that, that you experience when you put um, this into your mouth is, a, um, is the taste. Yes, it's warm, but it's not overly warm. It's once you start to swallow it that it cranks up the heat and then stops. It gets hot, but not overly hot at all. 
And uh, so for when I'm wanting to try uh, to eat something uh, with a lot of hot sauce on it, if I really want to get the flavor of a hot sauce, this is like the perfect temperature that for enjoying something where you can in, you can truly get a good deal of that hot sauce flavor and not be having to go to your favorite beverage to cool yourself down. I can take pretty hot things, so some people might think that this is definitely on the hotter scale. I know my wife would, but if you are a hot sauce connoisseur like me, you won't find this overly hot. You can feel it on your tongue, but I'm in no way in any kind of pain. So, Tabanero hot sauce. I have really enjoyed this. Um, it's a healthy hot sauce. They don't use um, cheap fillers like vinegar and things like that. Um, it was developed in Mexico. It is made here in the United States. And I would recommend it. Now, um, it is... Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll post a link uh, where you can actually buy this online and have it shipped to you. They have a few things. They have a few other kinds that I'd like to try eventually. And they have a Bloody Mary mix that uh, we'll be saving for another video sometime. And I'm looking forward to trying that. So, Tabanero Extra Hot. It's not extra hot, but it's very tasty. As always, have a great day, gentlemen.